This is Jack Jackson. Remember that in our last video we looked at various shortcut properties of derivatives that we had worked on before, and this is a complete list for a class such as survey of calculus, sometimes called business calculus or brief calculus. And in this video we will um, we will be looking at um, these properties and applying them. So let's just review them real, real fast. So we have the sum rule, derivative sum is the sum of the derivatives, constant multiple rule, constant can be brought up front, derivative the constant times the function, constant times the derivative the function, the product rule, the derivative the product is first times derivative the second plus second times derivative the first, quotient rule, derivative of a fraction is the bottom times derivative of the top minus the top times derivative of the bottom or the bottom square. The chain rule is going to permeate throughout, so anytime we have to make a substitution in, we take the derivative of f as a function of u, we take the derivative of it as a function of u, that's f prime evaluated at u, but then you have to multiply by the derivative of the u with respect to x. The inverse function rule allows us to find a derivative this way, the derivative of the inverse of f of x is 1 over f prime at in f inverse of x. We know how to find a few things. The derivative of a constant function is 0. If you have a power function, variable base, constant power, the derivative of u to the n is n times u to the n minus 1 times the derivative of the u. Logarithm, the derivative of log of absolute value of u is 1 over u du over dx. If you don't have the absolute value, it's the same thing, but you just restrict it to u being positive. The derivative of e to the u is e to the u times du. The derivative of b to the u is ln of b times b to the u du, where, of course, e is a specific constant, b is any constant. And, in general, the derivative of u to the v, where these are both variables, is u times v to the v times u to the v minus 1 times du over dx, which is basically the, the uh, power rule, plus, basically, the exponential rule, ln of u times u to the v times dv over dx. So, this is uh, video 316.0. I have a list of 20 problems here that we're going to investigate over the course of the next, next uh, well, the next 20 videos after this one. And so in this video, I'd like you to maybe stop, write down these problems, and try to work on them yourself, and then come back and check, uh, check your work with the following videos. So um, here we have several functions. Each one we're going to try to find the first derivative and the second derivative formulas. Then we're going to try to find the equation of the tangent line to the original function where x is 1, assuming it's defined there. And then we're going to graph all of those things, the tangent line, the original function, the first derivative, and the second derivative on the same coordinate grid. And then we might observe some things that we may notice about it. So I have a bunch of functions. These are going to all use just the rules that we did above, that we just went over above. And um, we're going to uh, just, just use these and see what we can come up with. So here's a... Uh, Here's a complete list. Let me let me put this. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's put this. In two columns. And maybe you can see. All of these at once. Perhaps. Okay, there, I think maybe you can see all of them now. So if you need to, pause the video, write these down, and then we're going to basically do a video on each one of these. So uh, the next series of videos will, we'll, you know, six, video, uh, I guess it's going to be 3.16.1, we'll do the first one, 3.16.2, we'll do the next one, and so forth. So um, go ahead and press pause if you need to and get these down, and when you're done, uh, finish out this video and come back for the next one to check the solutions.